Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Hit that like and subscribe button. So obviously, this Saturday, Errol Spence and Sean Porter will be fighting each other in a unification bout, WBC and IBF championships, respectively. Now, a lot of people are talking about this fight. Even the fighters are talking about this fight. I saw a video of Keith Thurman with a broke arm talking about he got Errol Spence winning. But we're not talking about Keith Thurman and another fake injury that he sustained. We're talking about Manny Pacquiao and what he said about Spence Porter. He said that it's going to be a lot of back and forth action. It's not going to be a one-sided fight. And then he said something very interesting as he looked up into the sky. I don't know, maybe, you know, hoping that God would make sure the next fight wouldn't happen. He said that he has no problem fighting the Errol Spence Sean Porter winner. And you know what I think about that? Manny Pacquiao, I think you're full of shit. And you know why you're full of shit? Because you know you're not going to fight the winner of, of uh, Porter and, and Spence. Reason being, well, you know, you were on top rank for a while. And, you know, there was a killer over there. His name was Terrence Crawford. And you don't want to fight him. How come you didn't fight Terrence Crawford before you left top rank? You said you wanted, what, like $30 million to fight Terrence Crawford? <laughs> you said you wanted $30 million up front before you fought Terrence Crawford. So what makes you think that Manny Pacquiao is going to fight the winner of Spence? And, you know, we're going to stop saying the winner of Spence Porter because the winner of that fight is going to be Errol Spence. So the fact of the matter is Manny Pacquiao will not be fighting Errol Spence despite what he says, what he said in a recent video. I went back and I watched the, after the, uh, what's the Spence fight? I think it was Spence versus, uh, damn, who was it? Was it uh, Mikey Garcia? It may have been Mikey Garcia after he tuned his ass up. You know, Pacquiao jumped in the ring looking confused as hell. Because you know how he be looking confused like he don't know what's going on and shit. But he be knowing what's going on. That's why he picked Keith Thurman because he saw some shit in Keith Thurman. He was like, you know what? People think Keith Thurman is that dude. And we're going to go ahead and pick Keith Thurman, right? Well, you know what? I'm still going to give Pacquiao props for beating Keith Thurman because that was a tough fight for him. Keith Thurman was a semi-prime welterweight, you know, minus all the injuries and shit. But, you know, Pacquiao beat the living shit out of Keith Thurman for talking all that shit. But I can tell you one thing that's not going to happen. Manny Pacquiao ain't going to beat the living shit out of Errol Spence if they fight. He's going to get fucking stopped. And then that's the end of his career. He can take his ass back over overseas and be president of the Philippines. So that's, that's all he's going to be worth. He ain't going to be able to do shit after that, you know. Maybe, maybe he could do Rush Hour 4 or some shit. I don't know. You tell me what Pacquiao could do after that. But, you know, Manny Pacquiao always selling wolf tickets, always saying he's he not afraid to fight somebody. In actuality, we know what Manny Pacquiao's next fight is going to be. He's going to fight a loser. He's going to fight someone who's coming off a loss, like maybe Mikey Garcia or Danny Garcia, since neither one of those two idiots can seem to negotiate a fight. It looks like Manny Pacquiao is going to pick one of those guys. And, you know, again... He's going to pick one of those guys, and then, you know, people are going to praise him and say, oh, man, Manny Pacquiao, you know, fighting the young fighters, fighting Danny Garcia, Mikey Garcia. You know, Mikey Garcia might beat your ass, and Danny Garcia might knock your ass out too, though. So that don't make for sure wins either for you, Pacquiao, but it'll make him look nice, right? Make him look good. You know, he don't want to lose his WBA belt, you know, as soon as he just won it, right? He's still chasing that Floyd fight. Floyd Mayweather not making any sense over in Japan talking about he got a, a, a exhibition fight with Pacquiao. Like, what the fuck does that even mean, dog? What do you mean you got an exhibition fight with Manny Pacquiao? An exhibition fight? Let me, you know, I'm, I'm not even mad at Pacquiao uh, for getting money over there. You know, let him get his money, you know. But in terms of, of, of fighting, fighters in your division, you know, you duck, bud. But it's really going to be hard for you to duck Spence, man, because people want to see unification bouts. You know, this is that's the bigger fight that you can make with PBC. You know, Danny Garcia versus Pacquiao, Mike Garcia versus Pacquiao. I mean, they're decent fights, but I ain't never seen Danny Garcia on pay-per-view. I ain't never seen, uh, aside from Mikey Garcia. Was Mikey Garcia and Spence? Yeah, that was on pay-per-view. Yeah, that, that fight was on pay-per-view. So you might just pick Mikey Garcia just because... Dude has that name recognition for pay-per-view. But honestly, the pay-per-view dude is Errol Spence because he's fighting 
Porter on pay per view. So, I mean, it, it would make sense for you to fight and get your ass beat by him next instead of wash or get washed by either Garcia. I don't see that bullshit. Manny Pacquiao is full of shit, man. He, he's out of his mind, you know. He's he's a liar, just plain and simple, man. He's he's a fucking liar. I can't believe anything the guy says. You know, he was looking up in the air and shit a lot. When you start looking up in the air and you start stuttering and shit, even for Manny Pacquiao, he'd be stuttering anyway. But when you start looking up in the air and stuttering, you know you're full of shit. And that's what he was doing in the video. Go to his Twitter page. It was some interview. I would have added it into this video, but it was from Fox and shit. And, you know, they going to try to strike a motherfucker down and use their they footage and shit. So I opted not to use it. But, uh, you know, Manny Pacquiao, if you want to see, if you wanna see a, a lion-ass dude, Go over to Manny Pacquiao's Twitter page. He will explain everything. He will say that he's ready to fight the winner of Porter Spence. When damn near probably right after that fight, he's going to announce he's fighting Mike Garcia or Danny Garcia. And then, wow, we're all like, oh, whoa, Manny Pacquiao taking another big fight. And no, he's not. He's taking a ch another cherry pick, you know. Well, that's what Manny Pacquiao did for, like, a lot of his career and shit over at top rank. All he did was rematches and cherry pick, like, full of shit. Fighting dudes coming off losses, cherry picking, uh, fighting Timothy Bradley like, eight times in a row and his big rockhead ass rolling around the ring in the last fight. You know, Manny Pacquiao swole biscuit head ass too, man. You know, he this dude wearing diabetic socks when he fighting dudes because he getting older and shit. Like, them long ass... So pajama ass socks you had on, Joe. Like, what, what was them shits, man? Like, Manny Pacquiao, man. Like, just give it up. Like, just go fight Spencer. Just, you had a great career, man. I mean, you already lost a bunch of times. Almost, damn, you gotta, you gotta count the number of losses on He has it two hands. You got to use fucking two fucking feet next. You keep fighting these prime welterweights. But, you know, what, what people are gonna say in the comments section, oh, you beat Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman was y'all black savior, you know, black Keith Thurman, black Negro. Like that's what I just can't wait to see those comments. It's gonna be interesting. But uh, yeah, Manny Pacquiao's afraid of uh, Errol Spence, just like he was afraid of Terence Crawford. He didn't want that smoke. Talking about you want how much you want to fight? How much you want for Spence? Is it gonna be a hundred million? You want a hundred million to fight Errol Spence? Huh? You want a hundred million to get put in a body bag? Is that what you want? Just get Pacquiao the money so he can get his ass beat. Um, but, you know, like, again, I'm not saying all this to say that Pacquiao's not a great fighter. He's a great fighter, man. And I give him full credit for beating the living shit out of a broke-down, busted, heartless fighter in Keith Thurman. Matter of fact, again, go to Keith Thurman's page, and you'll see that he's got a, you know, a carpal tunnel from, you know, being a keyboard warrior or whatever the fuck he is he does. Hitman Boxing, Pacquiao talking about he gonna fight Spence next, but we know it's not happening. Hitman Boxing, I'm out.